Pizza Hut is being sued by a family in Brooklyn for allegedly taking a bite out of their business. The Mangello family says it was their idea to pump pizza crust full of cheese, and now they want a piece of the Pizza Hut pie. Barry Cunningham reports. Sutton intends to prove the Mangiello's had the idea for stuffed crust pizza first, with a patent granted in 1987. A patent gives its owner a monopoly over a product or a production process. This is a very real lawsuit with a very real United States patent with a very real defendant that's practicing a method in making stuffed crust pizza. It's very real that the Mangiello's approached Pizza Hut. I have a great deal of confidence in the outcome of this lawsuit. Well, aren't we reading about cutting the pizza I shop here? To you this is I in your what... patent, right? Yes, sir, I did just explain to you what that meant. I read it with you. We did it together. Right, and it says here that you cut it so that any food or filling in those pockets does not accidentally spill from those pockets. Is that correct? I have to read it again to see if it says exactly what you're saying it does. Okay, why don't you read it again? It. So I'll read it aloud. Read it yeah, those are the exact words. Yeah, read it aloud from 45 shelf. to 50. Sir, read it from 45 I, to 50. What do I need? You don't know, no, no. I, Counselor, if, if you're not going to conduct yourself in a proper demeanor, I've got to go to the court and I don't want to. Uh, you can go to the court anytime you want. Okay. You're arguing with the witness, you're yelling at the witness, and you're not letting the witness finish his testimony. If you ask a question, you must let him finish. I don't want to go back past the point where this portion of the video is playing, okay? I don't mean to interrupt you, but that, was, that wasn't a continuous thing. I mean, that, was, that wasn't a continuous thing. I mean, they cut it in the middle. I don't know that that's the same as what was before. Do you believe that the pie that's being made there is an infringement of the pie? When they said that they made their stuffed crust pizza with a continuous ring, Pizza Hut was lying. Settle down. All right. Uh, Hold for that. That's wonderful. This is 22A, take one, same six. Action. Tell me your full name. My name is Michael Clark. David Delaroche. Andre Barber. Jackie Gorman. James Jacoby. The Pizza Hut location that I worked at was Kansas City, Missouri. San Bernardino, California. In Port Jefferson, New York. In Portland, in Maine. Northern Boulevard in Bayside, Queens. How many years? Uh, from about 94 to 96. I was employed there for nine years, from 1989 to 1998. 94 to probably the end of 96. I became a uh, assistant manager. And I was an assistant manager for two years. I was hired as assistant manager. And then about a year after that, I was promoted to store manager. Have you ever been instructed by Pizza Hut to make a stuffed crust pizza with one continuous ring that is uncut? No, it was not one ring. It was a half a dozen strips of polio of the string cheese around equal space, you know, within an inch or so of each other, but it would fill that pie. Like the polio string cheese that you buy as snacks, it was kind of like that. Uh, I think they were a little bit longer, um, but they were like nice thick pieces of cheese um, and already pre-cut. The way we received the mozzarella sticks was in stick form, just like they do in the supermarket. It's just like going in your refrigerator at home and get a mozzarella polio cheese. So, in your expertise, Pizza Hut did not prepare a full, complete, uncut ring. Is that correct? That's correct. Absolutely. Pizza Hut started making claims that our pizza was made with a singular ring of cheese. And I can't speak for other Pizza Huts, but I know in our store, there was no way. That was impossible. Why is that? Because we didn't have a ring of cheese, first off. And we used 
five to seven string cheese. There was no such thing as a ring of cheese. We use separate pieces of, of mozzarella. I don't, I don't know how you would get a ring done. With, with, with the pieces, you can just fit them. I think if you had to make a ring of cheese, you know, the size and everything, whatever it was, this was our instructions, you know, from, from headquarters. Okay guys, let's make sure we have our focus marks on Anthony. I'm just making sure that I have my focus yeah. for you. And I'm just gonna check the lighting. And we're gonna be good to go. Fine. Tell me your full name. My name is Anthony T. Mangello. Where were you born? I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I want your opinion about Pizza Hut's desire to circumvent your patent. When I read the article, there was a very descriptive line in there that is etched in my brain. They said, a ring of cheese baked right into the crust. Look, a ring to me has no beginning and no end. And I felt that they were using one large round piece of cheese somehow and putting that onto the flat dough base and then covering it. But lo and behold, they're not doing that. They're copying my patent. If you read my patent, it's a very simple process. It's a process and a patent to make a pizza shell. The key is to place a plurality of separate individual food portions on the dough base. Well, they weren't putting a ring of cheese. They were putting separate individual string cheeses, in fact, five of them, on the crust, evenly spaced apart. Exactly what my patent reads. How did you come to the realization that you wanted to pursue the matter legally? Because I sent it to them. Not once, but twice. So they had the patent already? They did. Sure they did. Hello, Little Caesars. Can I speak to your licensing department, please? Hi, Domino's. This is Anthony Mangello. Hello, Pizza Hut. I'm a product inventor based in Brooklyn, New York, and I have a huge opportunity for you that could change the pizza industry and boost your sales. I have a patented product. My product makes them eat the crust. Anybody. It's a lot of money being made here. No, I swear to God, please, it's a real patent. You have to listen to me. You have to understand. How old am I doesn't have anything to do with this? You know, like people from Brooklyn. Hello, Pizza Hut. It's been approved. I have that in hand. I'd love to partner with you guys. Yes, sir. I'm ready when you are. And you said research and development partner, correct? Okay, great. I'll send that guy uh, right out to you. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Pizza Hut denies it stole the family's invention. After our exhaustive search of the Federal Patent Office, we found that the Mangiello claim has absolutely no merit at all, and we will oppose their claim vigorously. But Pizza Hut didn't have to search very hard to find patent number 4661361. The family lawyer says the Mangiellos took their billion-dollar idea to Pizza Hut twice. The family lawyer says the Mangiellos took their billion-dollar idea to Pizza Hut twice since 1988, but the company showed no interest. The Mangiellos approached Pizza Hut and presented the patent uh, to them and offered them a license, and there was no apparent interest on the part of uh, Pizza Hut. Sutton. Where were you born? The Bronx. 
do you still teach patent law at New York University? I do. Is it true that you achieved the highest AV lawyer rating in the United States? I did. Would you consider yourself an expert in the field of patent law? I've been designated as such by courts. When was it brought to your knowledge that the Mangiello family and Anthony contacted you? Talk to me a little bit about those early days. The Mangiellos thought that they could have a very good business opportunity by approaching Pizza Hut and offering them a patent license. Pizza Hut's response was, we're not at all interested. They approached them again and offered them a license. They had hoped to get into a negotiation. And it was at that point uh, that they approached me. What I did is I examined the patent I examined what Pizza Hut was doing. I saw the similarities, and that justified my opinion that a cause of action for patent infringement by the Mangiellos against Pizza Hut was warranted. And they wrote you a letter confirming that they had received the patent information Exactly. I couldn't believe it. It was a thank you for thinking of us, thank you for sharing it with us, but we have absolutely no interest in this product. Lo and behold, they see that Pizza Hut enters the market with a stuffed crust pizza. Uh, they ran ads, including some with uh, Donald Trump and other celebrities. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Sean flew up. I got a phone call from a friend of mine who, you know, I grew up with. And he is all excited on the phone. And, and I'm like, well, what's going on? He says, Anthony, you sold your pizza idea to Pizza Hut? And I'm like, I'm dumbfounded. I said, dude, what are you talking about, man? He says, Anthony, Pizza Hut is launching stuffed crust pizza. Isn't that your product? I have the last slice. Actually, you're only entitled to half. And I got a phone call from Anthony. And he said, Juan, they're making it. He said, who's making what? He says, pizza.
uh, we be provided with a copy of this video, which bears the name Pizza Hut as originating with Pizza Hut. Could that be produced uh, promptly tomorrow to uh, I was going to Pizza Hut and I would buy a pizza and figure out what was going on, what could possibly be the difference. You're still stuffing the crust of a pizza. and I would cut the thing open from the top. And you could see where the dough closed in between the cheese sticks. family for pop anthony i know you're in a lot of pain right now it's normal law they stole from me i gave them the patent the process of making it they said sorry we're not interested and then they stole my idea hey what would pop do fight back exactly fight back let's open this sucker up and see how they make it you ready Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. I mean, yes. It's just that it worked. They made my idea work. I don't understand, though. What about the commercials with it being a ring of cheese baked right into the crust? Yeah, well, what about it? Man, look at it. There isn't a ring. Feel alone. Law. Alone. Pop is gone. Mom is gone. And fighting this case is gonna cost me more than I even have. All these people looking from the outside had no idea the fight I was in. How emotionally distraught I was. Now. As I understand your testimony, you believe that a pizza being made according to the steps under the original would be an infringement, is that correct? That is what I said, sir. Yeah, okay.
my body. Why didn't you take it? I, I couldn't take $50,000, that was crazy. We're all in Anthony's office and he gets a phone call. They offered me $50,000 to go away. A buyout. A buyout, yeah. How could I take $50,000? That was wrong, but to me, that was an admission of guilt. We ex exhaustively searched the patent office to make sure we weren't infringing on anyone. We would never infringe on anyone. That's just not the way we do business. What do you think his lowest moments were during the trial? Anthony ever talked to you about taking his own life? No, never. Anthony? No. Never. Never, to me at least. I don't see that. I never saw that. He was very distraught. Let me just say that. What does that mean, very distraught? And what did he say? It didn't work out the way it's supposed to. Anthony called me because he wanted me to know. And nobody else. And he'd know I'd have his back. Thank God. He was able to talk some sense into me. After talking to my brother, that got me out of the funk I was in and help to get me back on track. What was the next legal procedure to advance the Mongello's case? Well, the next procedure uh, was initiated by Pizza Hut. Sure we can circumvent this cat? Absolutely we can. Research and development team has already been on it for over eight months. So what do you want to do with these little guys? Well, let's give them something. Keep their mouths shut. Otherwise, the more the press hears about it, the worse we look. Otherwise, the more the press hears about it, the worse we look. Describe to me how the meeting went and what transpired. <laughs> look, I waited for that day like, like, like a father waiting for his child. And the opportunity to go sit with Pizza Hut's attorneys to discuss a settlement, that was an admission of guilt. You must be Anthony. I'm Eugene Goldstein, Chief Corporate Counsel. This is Joseph Russo, our partner for corporate settlements. Pleasure to meet you. And Cynthia Parson, our associate representing research and development team at Pizza Hut. Pleasure. Please make yourselves comfortable. So, Paul, why don't you start this meeting by updating Joseph and Cynthia, since we've talked a number of times, uh, and articulate where you think the infringement has occurred. Certainly. United States patent number 46613618, titled Method of Making a Pizza. It has been infringed upon by the Pizza Corporation for using this patent invention without any financial remuneration, or compensation. Furthermore, P. 
Pizza Hut's lucrative launch of this stuffed crust product was a direct copy of Anthony's invention. Namely, using cheese in a plurality of closed pockets uniformly distributed, thus branding it stuffed crust pizza. At that place, in the course of this legal battle, what was the temperature in the room? Uh, the temperature in the room was hot from scratch. Please refer, ladies, gentlemen, to Appendix A, Appendix C, and Appendix D. Uh, Paul, may I say something to your client? Please. First of all, let me say how much I respect your invention. I know that both your father and your grandfather were inventors of manufacturing cheese products in New York City. Clearly, it's in the blood. Clearly, it's in the blood. I think that Pizza Hut lawyers sized me up, understood they had a problem, and that if I got on a stand in front of my peers to explain my story, they were lost. Now, I have privately discussed this patent with Cynthia and the entire research and development team. They have assured me that our Pizza Hut product and your patent are different. With all due respect, Eugene, you and I both know Anthony was shopping his idea around directly to Pizza Hut. That means the R&D department had direct access, full access, to that patent in 1987. Paul, I understand your frustration. Be that as it may, we did not infringe on your client's patent. Now, Anthony, I know this is not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. In the spirit of trying to resolve this matter, what can we do, Joseph? Uh, Paul, what do you think would be a fair settlement? Well, given the life of the patent and the number of Pizza Hut stores at 3,300 and the sales revenue, our initial claim is for $24 million. $24 million? Paul, oh, that's a lot of money. We believe that's a fair number. At any point, did you feel that Pizza Hut was interested and coming to some type of settlement. I never experienced any kind of interest on their part. They considered this a nuisance in a David and Goliath setting. Well, unfortunately, Paul, for that amount of money, we're gonna have to fight this. Well, unfortunately, Paul, for that amount of money, we're gonna to have to fight this. Okay, then we'll see you in court. It collapsed right in front of me. All my dreams right there were shattered because I thought we were gonna to come to terms. I spoke to no one initially. I was running this over in my head over and over and over again. And I couldn't imagine that we weren't debating this back and forth. You knew that the public would be on your side if you could explain this story and people could relate to you. Absolutely. Why? Well, taking it to trial and me being able to have a jury of my peers to tell my side of what happened, the outcome would have been completely different. Yeah, I can cut that into five slices and I can get you five. I, I, I please said. Please let the witness finish. I said. Please rolls, let the witness okay. finish. Pockets. Okay, let me ask please, you. No, please let the cheese on every slice. Okay. Please let the witness finish. Okay. You don't are like you his finished answer. now? Are you finished now, Mr. No, no, let him finish. Are you now. finished now? I don't now, know if the court reporter got that. Would you please repeat? Did you get the whole that? thing? Please read the back read of the Read the question. Tell me what a summary judgment is. They take whatever facts of the case that they feel is uh, supportive of their position and they present it to the judge. But it's one person. The big chains like Pizza Hut are gonna do everything they can do to circumvent that patent. And that's what they did. And they got a judge, one person, to side in their favor. 
I didn't get to be in front of a, a jury. This is the start of what became a rather unfortunate scenario. What Pizza Hut did is they made a motion for summary judgment. They asked the judge to take the jury trial away from the Mangiello's. Pizza Hut was successful in having Judge Nickerson uh, rule in its favor that the case should not go forward to the jury trial, that the case would not. And when I finally did get the call from Paul, and he said, um, you know, the judge ruled, Paul needed $250,000 to take it up on an appeal. And he knew I didn't have that money. They, they've never even thought about going any route except direct uh, with morality and ethics. And uh, it's unfortunate that they lost this case against Pizza Hut, they should have won. I want you to close your eyes. Keep them closed. What if in your passing, you never get to see that vindication? What does that future look like to you? It's wrong. It's wrong. Look. I don't want any money from anybody. I don't want even to hurt Pizza Hut. I want my recognition. When the history books are written about Italian American inventors, to see your name as being the inventor of stuffed crust pizza as an Italian American, as I make <clears throat> you feel. I want that for my children more than myself. No one will take away the fact that I'm the inventor, creator of stuffed crust pizza. In my mind, that will never ever go away. But I wanna leave something on this earth. I wanna leave my mark as we all do. I want my recognition because I want my kids to feel proud of their dad and what he has accomplished in his life. Anthony Mangiello, thank you for your time. Thank you.
I'm back where it all began, where I took my creativity and actually put it to work to create my stuffed crust pizza. And it's my pleasure to show you how simplistic it is and what my patent for stuffed crust pizza is all about. Well, what we have here today is we have a dough to make a nice large pie. We've got a tomato sauce, marinara, and we've got some shredded mozzarella to put on top. But the most important part is what's gonna go inside the crust. So with this stuffed crust pizza, uh, I'm gonna use the same ingredients that Pizza Hut did. And we're gonna use the one ounce palio cheese stick. The reality of the patent is you're gonna start with a flat dough base and you're gonna place what's called a plurality of separate individual food portions on the dough base. They chose to use palio string cheese. And the ironic part of this is that my dad is the creator of this one ounce cheese stick. So it's really, uh, I'm not sure how to say it, it's very sensitive to me. It's important when making a stuffed crust pizza that when you fold the dough over the filling that you make sure that you adhere that piece of dough to the bottom of the dough. Every time I make a stuffed crust pizza, it brings me back. It brings me back to the first day. It brings me back to the aha moment. I, I didn't realize what I was embarking on. I had no idea what was happening. And I was just, you know, doing a normal thing. And like they say, all great inventions, they happen by accident. And this one actually did the same thing. It just happened by accident. Like, I mean, I'm not a pizza old guy. I, by trade, I'm a cheese guy. And it looked like there was a huge calzone or a zeppelin on the edge of the pizza. And when I bit into it, I realized if there was something inside that crust, this would be amazing. And that's how stuffed crust pizza was born.